The Business Report, brought to you by the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme, a department of the Ministry of Youth and Community Empowerment, supporting young entrepreneurs from idea to enterprise. Well, it's Wednesday, so tonight we look at one of the clients of the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme. It's a business in the field of graphic designs. Jacoria Designs is a small customization business located at Industry Road in Bush Hall, St. Michael. Nicola Best is the face of the business. Basically, we do t-shirts, business cards, flares, brochures, and then we are also into wood. So it's pyrography and small home furnishings like coffee tables, benches, coasters, cutting boards, serving boards, um, spice racks, key finders key rings, necklaces. And of course, I asked her to break down pyrography. It's the art of writing with fire by using a wood burn pen. Pyrography, that's what it means, writing with fire. So it's a wood burn pen. It heats up to 897 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's just a basic transfer of an image into a blank piece of wood, and then you burn the image into the wood. That wood stays like that forever. She started utilizing her customization skills as a hobby in 2013 before deciding to take it seriously as a full-time business. I first started with t-shirts because it was like everybody was wearing the same thing. And it was like, I don't want to look like everybody else. So it started with just me and my friends just customizing Art One t-shirts so that we could be a little different. So then it was like somebody saw some t-shirts that we did and they ended up doing um, t-shirts for a family reunion. That led on to a lot of other work. And she has a diverse range of clients. We do do everyday, the everyday person. Uh, so far, I've done some work for the Frederick Smith School, the All Souls Anglican Church. I've done work for the St. Joseph Parish Independence Committee. Um, I've pretty, some schools, some school groups, just social groups. And mo it's mostly birthdays where you get group customizations and stuff like that. The self-taught designer says the customized t-shirts continue to be her most popular items. Because last month was Pride, we launched the Pride line, which is strictly f the LGBT ally Pride line. And that kind that took off because I got that went, we did BMX also last month. And that was the main attraction for BMX because it was the only Pride themed um, clothing line there. Ms. Best says yes has been instrumental to the growth of her business. When I started out, I needed help with getting signage and, you know, just basically knowing how to proceed with running a business, a small business. So they signed me up for the Entrepreneur Development Training Program in 2015. And I did that where I would have been taught how to market and um, how to basically run a business from scratch where we would have learned to run our own books and every, basics in business management. Her key to success so far is exclusivity, with no more than six of the same pieces produced. You can contact Jacoria Designs at 834-4721 and also find them on Facebook and Instagram. Do you have an idea for a business or have started a business? Are you between 18 and 30 years old? Then you need to contact YES, the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme. YES is a dynamic network of services creatively packaged for you, the young entrepreneur. YES offers critical, timely business solutions, specialized technical assistance in accounting, legal, and marketing, a practical entrepreneurial training program, and your own youth enterprise officer for one-on-one -on -one counseling and mentoring. Contact YES today at 535-3835 and get your business moving. The Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme, Ministry of Youth and Community Empowerment. And in more business, commercial banks are being cautioned against using financial regulations as a means of generating revenue by charging more fees. Government Senator Rodden Adams is concerned about the impact it has on small and medium enterprises. Yesterday, I found out firsthand that one bank now wants to charge $1,000 to small and medium-sized enterprise uh, companies approaching them to embark on a relationship with them. Uh, and they want that money simply to process the KYC and AML 
requirements that they're sitting on. Now, the legislation plays a part in setting this up. The proportionality, the balance is all wrong. How can it be that we set up a system where that kind of regulation is now treated as a revenue stream by a bank? Is it a disincentive to entrepreneurs to come forward? Sign up today to catch all the major Cropover events live online on cropover.cbc.bb. We've got you covered. So come on at finals, $53 or $26 US. Pick at the crop finals, $62 or $30 US dollars. And Grand Kadumit, $22 Barbados dollars or $11 US. Don't be left out. Log on now to cropover.cbc.bb and book. CBC, taking crop over to the world. We all need it to survive. Water, choose water first water. We all know it in pressure. Should be enjoyed by all of us. Talking about water, choose water first water. We're into the months of summer. And for most companies, that means interns. And for the Barbados Water Authority, it is no different. So they have their own summer internship program being led by the Ministry of Energy and Water Resources. To tell me a bit more about the program, we have Yvette Harris-Griffith. She is, of course, the Manager of Communications here at the BWA. So the interns are busy doing some work, as you can see here in the background. Tell me a bit about the program. Well, Shane, you are correct. Welcome to Barbados Water Authority again. The Ministry of Energy and Water Resources has initiated a uh, summer internship program for a six-week period going mm -hmm. from July 8th to August 16th and that's with a vision to support and empower the youth in their ongoing development and by extension the development of the country okay. so here at Barbados Water Authority we have benefited because we're hosting 15 of the students nice. for the six-week period okay so what are some of the things that they will be involved in as they get hands on here at the BWA well they've been attached to a number of departments and those are accounts customer service human resources, legal and compliance unit, marketing communications of course, recoveries unit, registry, resource management and the wastewater division. Okay. So they will get a little taste of what happens in several departments here at the BWA. Okay so a range of uh, departments here at the Barbados Water Authority that the interns are involved in, we'll hear from them, hear what they have to say about the experience. Okay so it has been very interesting because it's giving me a more it's giving, it's giving me more insight on the course I am studying, which is geography and geology. So it's helping me to decide if I want to continue the program or not. The whole sewage treatment plants, yeah, those are very interesting for me because of obviously what I study. So I do see myself being an asset to the facility in the future. Okay, so tell us about the experience here working at the Barbados Water Authority coming from, of all programs, a music program at the BCC. I just wanted a wider understanding of what the BWA does and how we can help in the future. I like the marketing. I find marketing interesting. We have toured the facility. We are going to have a tour again tomorrow with some other interns and go to, I think it's Beanot and some other places and it should be interesting. What do you like doing while working here at the Barbados Water Authority? What really piques your interest? Um, probably the video that we had to do. It was, it was really fun. Okay, you're doing a video for what? Explain what that project is about. Um, that's a project for the Ministry of Energy and Water Resources, um, teaching people on water conservation and energy conservation tips. I look forward to working with everyone, that's my peers that are in my group and so on. Um, it's really interesting hearing everyone's opinions and seeing what everyone can add to the table. You're working on this video, you can stick on this video. How are things going with that and what do you like about what you are trying to produce for the ministry and to eventually to the public? The video is actually coming along good and we are trying to like get the public to understand like why energy is good and we need to use more renewable energy than non-renewable energy. So we have a group of interns here that are looking to spice up things and make sure that you get the information you need. Yes, Shane, because this group is between 16 and 22 years old. So 
-hmm. Yes, they have a different perspective on what we do and how we have to communicate it. Right. Now, the main purpose of the program is to ensure that there's an opportunity provided to develop young persons in the work environment. And of course, it's envisioned that this experience would help them to develop some clarity towards what they want to do with their future studies or their choice of profession. Now, the duration is short, but at the BWA, they'll be working in the areas of greatest need within the authority. Okay. And we envision that the BWA will also benefit greatly from their presence within our organization. We want to thank you for watching this edition of Water Wednesdays. Of course, to view this or our previous episode again, visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. You can go to our Facebook page as well for more information or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You know you can find us there.